Some schools are getting the green light to reopen, and that includes schools in Napa County, Marin's Community School in San Rafael, San Jose Middle School in Novato, and Santa Clara University says that it will open in-person classes this fall. KPIX 5 Julia Goodrich is live in Pleasanton with what students could be in for when school does finally reopen. Juliet. Hi, Ken. You know, as we wrap up this school year, which is going to wrap up in just a couple of weeks, if not sooner, for some school districts, what does next year look like? A lot of people wondering. So we went to some top school officials to get their take on what we can expect. And so if you think about it on a range with a slider going from all the way virtual to back to normal, we're going to be somewhere in the middle there. But what does that even look like? Most school districts in the state are sticking with the original start date, but local school districts will decide how they welcome students back. And when they do... We can't expect that uh, all of our students will come back absolutely ready to go like they always would have been in the past. Uh, so, you know, we'll have to look at that when they do come back and we'll have to adjust uh, our practices and our instruction uh, as needed. To... The CDC is recommending face coverings, desks spaced apart, and daily health checks. State Superintendent Tony Thurmond released this latest guideline today. Many schools will likely have smaller class sizes in order to accommodate the need for six feet of space between our students in their classes, uh, in hallways, and in common spaces. And that could mean staggered class times and possibly alternating days between distance learning and classroom learning. There is no one-size-fits-all answer. And do we start with our more vulnerable students? So do we start to open up by allowing our special education students to come back or students that are that are behind uh, standard to come back to get that face to face instruction? And he says the reality is some parents may not be quite sure if they want their kids back in school when the school doors reopen. And we've learned the California Department of Education is expected to release some more guidelines come tomorrow. We'll certainly keep you posted on that. But keep in mind, when it comes to reopening schools, it's done by a district by district basis. So we'll keep you informed. In Pleasanton, Julia Goodrich, KPIX 5.